We begin tonight with in-depth coverage on the stunning death of Aaron Hernandez. The story was first breaking on Eyewitness News this morning, and all day long we've been tracking developments and reaction to this stunning end to a tragic fall from grace. The former Patriots tight end turned convicted killer was found hanging in his cell at the Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center in Shirley, Massachusetts overnight. He later died at the hospital. The apparent suicide comes just days after Hernandez was found not guilty of murdering two men in a 2012 drive-by in Boston, leading many, including his lawyer, to question why Hernandez would take his own life now. And news of his death broke just hours before the former team, the New England Patriots, visited the White House to celebrate their fifth Super Bowl championship. We have all the angles covered tonight. Steph Machado and Yanni Caracas are standing by with in-depth coverage. But we begin with Eyewitness News reporter Jared Kleiner, who's live at the prison where Hernandez apparently took his own life. Jared. Mike Shannon, good evening. Just a shocking outcome, as you say here. Just days ago, it was Friday, where Aaron Hernandez was in court shedding tears after his acquittal in that double murder case, seeing his young daughter in court. And he had a 2015 murder conviction appeal still ahead of him. Your verdict? Convicted murderer and former Patriot star Aaron Hernandez dead tonight at 27. The Massachusetts Department of Corrections says staff found Hernandez hanged with a bedsheet attached to his cell window at 3.05 this morning here at the Sousa Baranowski facility in Shirley, Massachusetts. The DOC says there were items jammed in the door of his single inmate cell to prevent entry. Hernandez pronounced dead at UMass Lemonster about an hour after he was found at 4.07 a.m. Hernandez's attorney, Jose Baez, now calling for a thorough, transparent investigation, not referring to his client's death as a suicide. The family and legal team is shocked and surprised at the news of Aaron's death. There were no conversations or correspondence from Aaron to his family or legal team that would have indicated anything like this was possible. Aaron was looking forward to an opportunity for a second chance to prove his innocence. Those who love and care about him are heartbroken and determined to find the truth surrounding his untimely death. Baez adding his own firm will investigate and share its findings with the public. Outside the prison, local state Senator Jamie Eldridge called for a review of Massachusetts inmate and correctional officer suicides. I think what uh, his alleged or apparent suicide really underscores is, in my opinion, the conditions we have in prisons across the state. Eldridge saying he visited Sousa Baranowski and its cells in December. Eight feet by 10 feet. It's, uh, you know, I've been inside the cell. It's, it's uh, a very antisocial environment, and there's just a very small window. And another notable inmate held here, Jared Remy, who murdered his girlfriend back in 2013. Remy, of course, the son of Red Sox broadcaster Jerry Remy. Coming up new at 6 o'clock, past suicides here at Sousa Baranowski. Found live in Shirley with the Mobile Newsroom tonight, Jared Planner, Eyewitness News.